See, I'm out here with Prince. this I really don't walk my dogs on leashes I should because Prince is still for sale somebody else is uh somebody else get them they you know they gonna have them on leash so I should have uh I should have been leash trained them but they don't take long they don't take long come here Prince come here Prince Come here, Prince. I be getting asked, like, what happens if I drop the leash or my dog broke off the leash and did the most? I honestly, y'all, um, I train Prince on respecting me. You know what I'm saying? Like, fuck the leash, fuck the collar, fuck any of this. I train him on respecting me. You know what I'm saying? He's trained on respecting me first. First, first, before anything else, before I add anything, he's trained on respecting me. He's trained on following me. Wherever I go, wherever I go. He's trained on following me. No matter what. Contemplating, he's thinking, what should I do? Should I do what I want to do? Should I do what I be trained to do? What should I do in this position? I got freedom. Ain't nothing hold me back doing what I want to do. So what is it that I want to do? What is it that I want to do? Let's be clear. He's going to make his mind up. I want to put He's going to make his He hasn't moved. This is all contemplating. This is all thinking, critical thinking right now. He got to make a decision on what it is he want to do. Does he want to follow me? Does he want to do his own thing? There's no leash around his neck. There's no collar. There's no restraint. There's zero restraint. I hold him back. What is it that he going to do? What is it is he going to do? What is it? I never called his name, never told him to come here. I refuse to do that. To me, he don't even got a name. To me, his dog, it's a dog. They don't speak English. They don't speak no fucking English. You know what I'm saying? They don't speak English. Body language, body language is everything. Body language is everything, man. He made his mind up. He made his mind up. He went to follow me. And he's back to my heel. He didn't have to say anything. He didn't have to do anything. So that's first. That is first, okay? Once you intercept the mind, the way that they think, the least shit, it just, it's for everybody else to be comfortable, okay? When I put a leash around his neck, collar around his neck, and I hold the leash, that is for everybody else to be comfortable, for them to see and to know that I am in control. But I know I have control over him way before I ever put a leash around his neck. As you can watch my videos, because he's going to be a year. If you can watch my videos going back to almost a year ago, I've been doing this. I've been putting in the work. I've been putting in the time. I've been putting in the effort. I've been doing this every single day. So throwing a leash around his neck, he's going to be a little combative at first. But at the end of the day, what are you here for? Yeah, what are we doing, man? 
we doing the shit that we always do. We outside. We're putting in the time. We putting in the effort. It's all work, y'all. All work, man. You don't want to work. That's something different. Before you go, take your dogs outside. And you think they're gonna take the leash off of them and they're gonna do what they want? Do not do that. Do not do that. I repeat, do not do that. At the end of the day, these are animals. At the end of the day, they have triggers. What do what do you think a dog trigger is? Every dog is different. How would you know? You might see something, something might happen. The trigger. And what happens if he's triggered and he's not on leash? What are you gonna do? Potentially lose your dog. You could potentially put another dog in danger or person in danger and that is not what we advocating for. We just want to show you there's a different light to this side. There's a different light to this breed, a different side. Um, so many people got a stereotype on these animals. Now let's be clear. This is not a pit bull, okay? I put pit bull in the title, but if you just look at the dog, you know that this is not a pit bull. A pit bull doesn't exceed 70 pounds. This is Not even a year. This is American Bully. implement because how he is with me it's not how he's gonna be with everybody okay uh, it's not how he's going to be with everybody so it's very important that I get this this talk this lesson understood that he understands that even with this on his neck he needs to still be obedient he needs to still be by my side and he can and will not do whatever he wants this is very important that I at least train him. Very important that I at least train all my dogs. And I don't have too many problems with, with most of my dogs. And I don't have a big problem with him. Like this is an apartment at all. But I can tell that he's a little bit uncomfortable with this. And that's okay. Because in order to change, in order to be efficient, you have to be uncomfortable, okay? Like life, look at your position that you're in right now. Are you comfortable? If you are comfortable, then you're happy with your position. You're happy with where you are in life. You're happy. And you can't say, let's go, let's go, let's go. Look at that, let's go, let's go. See that? Y'all see that? You see that? Let's go. You think you can do whatever you want. And there's always gonna be consequences for those type of behaviors. At the end of the day, Hey, 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 let's go. That's why this is very important, guys. Do not take small things like leech training for granted. This is 
very important. Um, if you're wondering the reason I'm doing this, there's two reasons why I'm doing this. One, it's because plants are still for sale. When he, when he goes to his forever family, we should be leaving here soon. He will be sold very soon. I haven't really been pushing for the sale with Prince, but he's gonna be sold really soon. So somebody else that get him needs to be comfortable. He needs to be comfortable with having a leash around his neck and walking next to his owner, okay? Two things what I noticed. When Prince is at the fence line, as you guys know, he, he and other dogs, he and other dogs that I have, they try to guard the fence, okay? They try to, you know how they play back and forth and, and all that stuff, run back and forth? That's what they do. So, and I'm fine with that. I advocate for that because I think it's great exercise and they learn in perimeters, okay? So I, I think it's very important that they do that. But here's the other thing. When I say, let's go, come on, everybody else comes on. Prince stays at the fence. That goes to show me at the end of the day, there's awful right behavior and he think he can do whatever he want. Why do, we, why do he think he can do whatever he want? Because I've allowed him to do whatever he wants in my backyard. And that has trickled on to other places like being outside, and not coming here when I say come. So we have to uh, adjust that now um, and let him know that he is not alpha. He won't ever be alpha. And um, that's just something that I have to pay more attention to and that I'm doing and I'm working on it right now. So this is just that, it's just part of the, part of the process, guys. This is part of the process. Don't forget the process. Enjoy the process, love the process, but it's all part of the process, guys. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. This is Elliot Johnson with NBF. I'll catch you guys on this video.